Hello everybody, welcome to week 14 in the college football season. The 5-6 and six Demon Deacons of Wake Forest took on the 4-7 and seven Eagles of Boston College. Let's roll to the highlights. Second and four to begin the game, just about a minute and a half and actually 30 seconds in. This is a first down catch by Harrison Jackson from the quarterback. Lands them a first down. Josh Bordner would have a good day. Second and eight now. It's going to be a read option. Bordner will keep it. He splits the secondary. And he's all the way down to the Wake Forest 5. A minute and a half in. Now third and goal. It's goal to go for the Eagles of Boston College. Third and goal. Fullback dive. It's good. Leonard Mann becoming the man there. Touchdown Eagles. 6 nothing. Boston College. Two minutes into the game, just over. Now, PAT up and good. 7-0, Eagles with the early lead. First studio update of the day. Georgia Tech undefeated number one in the nation. Will remain that way after beating their rival, the Bulldogs, in Georgia, 24-21. Bulldogs improved to 6-6, six six, or rather fall to 6-6. Six six. Georgia Tech to 12-0. Virginia upsets Virginia Tech, 31-21. Syracuse beats Pittsburgh to go bowl eligible. Something Wake Forest looks to do in this game, 31-24. So far, though, for Wake Forest, it's not looking good. Second and six, Wake Forest's first possession, 6-0-2 to play. This is Daniel Vogel saying, for a first down, here come the Deeks. Third and six, though, however, they would be in a little pickle. It's going to be slanting. Cameron will find Aaron Willis, who gets more than enough, 14 yards and a Wake Forest first down. That leads to second and two. What are they going to do? Hand off DeAndre Martin. He's goal to go now for the Demon Deacons. First goal, first and goal from the five. Although that would stop there. Third and goal from the five. After two unsuccessful plays, the Demon Deacons would come up short. They find Vogel saying, but not quick enough. And they will sad, send Headland out to kick a short field goal attempt 20 yards so Headland is on the field he will tee it up and the Demon Deacons do get three back 7-3 eagle lead studio update again this time it's Florida and Florida State in the battle of the Tallahassee and Florida will take the lead 14-7 here so far at least 120 to go FSU 24th in the nation beating Wake Forest last week Back to our game, 6.20 to go in the first half. 7-3 Boston College, second and six. It's going to be a counter to Taj Kimball. Kimball makes a man miss. He makes him miss again. It's a foot race. Down to the Wake Forest, 30. All the way down, and it's first down for the Eagles. Taj Kimball, he had a stellar day, but we are only in the first half. Would it last? 5.30 to go, second and nine. This is Bordner. Finding his man Grant up the middle of the field. Marcus Grant had a good day also as the Eagles are driving. Second and one now. Eagles at the Wake Forest 5. It's Bordner finding Matthew. Nigel Matthew for the 6th. 13-3 Boston College. PAT pending. Just under a hair of 5 minutes to go in the first half. Boston College strikes again. They are good at doing that even though a 4-7 record does not show. Now, third quarter action after Wake Forest ends the half with a field goal. 14-6 Wake ball, seven minutes to go. That's a three-yard run by DeAndre Martin. That would coincide with a six-yard run. Third and one. It's going to be stopped short by the Boston College defensive line. Props to them. Fourth and two. Let's send Chad Headland out for a 44-yarder. The kick from Headland win a hair to the right at five miles an hour. It's up and it is good as gold. 14-9 Wake Forest down five with five minutes to go in the third quarter. Let's go with that highlight to the four minute mark in the third quarter. Didn't take Boston College long. Second and five from the Wake Forest about 43. It's going to be a pitch to Crimmins. Crimmins has moved, has moves and Dan Crimmins is inside the Wake Forest red zone. Second and six, one play later. That's Spiffy Evans looking spiffy. Touchdown Eagles, 20-9. Here come the Eagles answering Wake Forest's field goal. Remember, Wake Forest needs a win, and they're into the bowl. 
playoffs or bowl games guaranteed with six wins. If they lose, it's another five and seven year and a year in review for head coach Mathis. Although they have no fight left in them, the defense doesn't. That is Sherman Raglin going up, tracking the ball, and then coming back down with it. You'll see on the replay, he lost the ball there. And he he made the catch. Defenders lost him somehow in the air, through the ground. I don't know how, but touchdown Wake Forest. Five-point game, Boston College. Up five. This is Kevin Johnson stripping the ball. Michael Stevenson picks it up. He's got room to run. He gets one block. He's down inside the Boston College 35 to the 34. First turnover of the game. That's Kevin Johnson's biggest play of the year by far with Wake Forest needing a win and you're in scenario. Now we enter the fourth quarter. First play of the fourth quarter. Third and three. Tyler Cameron looks. He'll find DeAndre Martin down to the BC 8-yard line. They are goal to go. Third and goal, though, unfortunately. Again, can they make it work this time? Tyler Cameron will find Brandon Terry in the end zone. Touchdown, Deacons. They go for two. They don't get it. So 22-21 Wake Forest lead. Second and 11, 7 minutes and 40 seconds to go now. In the game, this is going to be a screen to Taj Kimball, who gets stuffed three yards behind the line of scrimmage. Third and 14 now. Will they do it again? Let's find out. It's going to be a screen again to Taj Kimball, who again gets stuffed. That's a four-yard loss right there. Fourth and 19. Wake Forest ball. Tyler Cameron gets sacked. So Boston College comes up clutch. They will send Chad Henlon out, Wake Forest will. And with a timeout coming out of a timeout, we send Henlon out for a 40-yard field goal. We make it. We're up 6 with 2.16 to go. Kick is up from Henlon. It is good as gold. And the Deeks are up by 6. Studio update coming down to the wire here at BB&T Field. The Gators chomp on the Knolls. 35-31, FSU will go out of the top 25 with that loss. Florida, 8 wins, 4 losses. FSU, 9 wins, now 3 losses. How about a little ACC play, NC State on Maryland 27-15. Maryland was 6-5, six so they are in a bowl, but they will drop to 6-6. Six six. Final chances for the BC Eagles. They are down 4, not 6, my apologies. That's no gain right there. And on 4th and 21, this is your ball game. Deke fans get loud if they convert. We have a shot if they don't. Game over. That's well underthrown from the first down, and this game is over. Wake Forest, down 21-9, comes back, holds Boston College scoreless for the entirety of the 4th quarter, majority of the 3rd. And they come back and win it at home on Senior Day, 25-21. Demon Deacons are now bowl eligible. You will see them. I don't know which bowl yet, but you will see them in a bowl guaranteed. Next week, we have a bye. We'll round up this season there. I've been your host, JT Plays. Once again, your final from bb t Field. Wake Forest, 25. Boston College, 21. We'll see you later. Have a good one.